a university standing on the rigid foundation of principles, vision and foresight certainly has a potential of not just carving destinies but of shaping lives as well. Amravati University now known as Sant Gadge Baba Amravati University has the privilege of making a difference to the generations now and the commitment to continue with the same mission towards multi-dimensional development of the generations ahead. Amravati with its own mythological significance gleaming with references of Lord Krishna has been enriched with the tradition of modern saints like Gadge Baba who dispelled the darkness of ignorance with the light of enlightenment and the one who reminded the world of tenets of cleanliness, equality and virtues now connected with the world through the nearest airport at Nagpur. Amravati is no longer a speck on the map of Vidharva. Established on the 1st of May 1983, the university manifests the tireless efforts of educationists and visionaries towards the noble cause of nationalism through education. In the 33rd year of its inception, the university sticks up to its motto of sprawling its canvas as the lighthouse of education for Amravati and its neighboring districts Akola, Vashim, Buldana and Yavatmal. With changing times, the city of Amravati evolved into a beehive of enterprise. The university too changed for the better. Planning to cater to the changing needs of the ever-evolving aspirations of the society. What started with three departments and 11,000 students covering 67 colleges, the university has come a long way. It has now grown into a gigantic entity, having more than 400 affiliated colleges, a model degree college at Buldhana, Human Resource Development Center, ASC, 22 postgraduate teaching departments in the campus, independent department for adult and continuing education, Women's Studies Center and about 4 lakh students. Noteworthy is that of these, 9 colleges have been accredited with Grade A by NAC and prestigious autonomy has been conferred upon 2 colleges. The university thus has made a vast difference in the lives of countless students by offering them qualitative higher education. The university has been established with a noble vision and mission to educate the students from the socially as well as economically backward students. It takes into care the first generation learners, especially from the tribal area. Our campus is quite environmental friendly, which makes the students and even employees to work and study. At the same time, the need of water is being met by the reservoirs in the university. So it is self-sufficient in water. It is a lush green campus. It is an environmental friendly campus. So the campus which is liked by one and all. The wide and well-maintained roads across the campus make the commute a breeze. Arguably, one of the greenest and clean universities, our devotion and dedication towards environmental awareness has been duly acknowledged by way of conferment of two prestigious environment awards at the national level and three at the state. A host of gifted faculty members molding and shaping the character of 400,000 students with their knowledge and expertise is an asset to the university. At the helm of the administrative affairs is the Senate that charts the way ahead with financial planning and feedback from the stakeholders. Being the apex house in the university structure, the Senate helps the management draw guiding principles. The head of the university, the vice-chancellor, monitors and executes the popular decisions made by the authorities. An internal quality assurance cell or IQAC strives to ensure imparting of qualitative education to its inmates up to the gold standard in teaching. The university authorities 
Stakeholders and the university leadership have led the university to the 27th rank across the nation as per India Today survey 2014. Teaching, learning has been the core of the university structure. 22 postgraduate teaching departments covering almost all branches of science, humanities and management has been a unique feature of the academic structure of the university. The students from the departments like applied electronics, chemical technology and computer science receive hands-on learning through research on state-of-the-art machinery along with the recent software and research in emerging areas. The significant branches of science such as botany, zoology, microbiology and biotechnology provide wider scope to the students to know more about various flora and fauna. Needless to say, the spider laboratory in the Department of Zoology with more than 1200 spider species is the center of attraction for budding researchers. To cope with the advancement of science and technology, the postgraduate departments like physics, chemistry, mathematics, statistics, geology and home science serve the purpose of higher education and research in respective areas. It's the technology which matters. We are using ICT to a great extent in our university. The education of the students from the rural area, the poor students, the backward students socially as well as economically. And this we are catering to. Even the university caters to the needs of the tribal region from the Melkart. And some of the students are the first generation learners. So the university makes all of them to come over to the university. The admission process is through CASU, that is a single visitor system, wherein the merit list is displayed online. The student can access it from anywhere. He doesn't have to come to university to pay his fees to see the merit list and other things. The Department of Languages, like English, Marathi and Hindi, predominantly contribute to the spiritual and cultural development of the students by inculcating the sense of virtues, values and socialism. Train the trainer is the need of the hour. Postgraduate teaching departments of physical education and education strenuously put efforts to carve out the next generation of citizens for taking the torch of teaching tradition ahead. The Department of Business Administration and Law along with the Department of Sociology, take care of the socio-economic development of the student fraternity in the midst of modernization. The Human Resource Development Center, ASC, of the university addresses the needs of teachers and researchers and helps them attain professional competencies. The Department of Adult and Continuing Education, Women's Studies Center, and Dr. Punjab Rao Deshmukh Center for Monitoring Regional Economy contribute to co-curricular aspect of the university system. The facilities supplementing educational pursuits include the Central Instrumentation Cell or CIC with an assortment of advanced scientific instruments towards furtherance of research in science and technology. The university stands proud to encourage its employees the environmentalists and the young lady researchers by way of Best Employee, Environment and Kalpana Chawla Young Lady Scientist Award respectively. The university has secured research fund in crores of rupees over the past few years. This amount received from the UGC, the DRTO, the AICTE etc. speaks volumes of the trust it has earned with these funding agencies. We just cannot imagine knowledge centers sans the use of information technology. This has characteristically been taught to the emerging librarians in the Department of Library and Information Science. Library races ahead of the good libraries in the country for its varied collection of more than a lakh and thirty thousand books, comprising of encyclopedias, dissertations, reference books, e-books on CDs and more than 4,000 online journals 
with a subscription to about 151 international journals. The library is a rare sanctuary of knowledge and learning. An athletic track and an Olympic standard swimming pool attract sportsmen aspiring to project themselves at the national level. The university also provides the academic assistance to students by vocational guidance, self-employment and career counselling. The Research and Patent Cell, Students Access Centre, Coaching Centre for Entry in Service, Pre-Examination Coaching Centre and the Indira Gandhi National Open University Centre for Distance Education ensure students' grooming for facing challenges. An in-house residential campus serves about 500 students apart from a well-furnished and spacious guest house. The cafeteria in the campus provides nourishment with a dash of flavours to one and all. The Vice-Chancellor lives on campus too and a quick chat with him gives a picture of the vision and dreams for the university that's literally his home. Advancing the commandments of the modern saint, the university hosts seats of learning in the name of Sant Gargi Baba, Swami Vivekananda, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, Mahanubhav and the Buddhist Studies Centre along with Dr. Shrikant Jichkar Memorial Research Centre. A branch of bank, post office situated in the university campus takes care of the financial and mailing needs of the inmates. Facilities like reprography and Wi-Fi connectivity ensure that the university is well connected to the world online. Other facilities like health center, equal opportunity cell, center for women facilities and students welfare mark the characteristic to encourage holistic health and gender equality. The National Service Scheme or NSS is the notional arm of the university and has been appreciated and acknowledged by conferment of national and state awards four times for its untiring and exemplary record of services to the society. The organization of Indra Dhanusha, the inter-university state-level youth festival, served as a pedestal to exhibit the inherent and hidden extracurricular and cultural attributes of the students. This event has been graced by the presence of great luminaries like His Excellency, the Governor of Maharashtra and Chancellor of Universities in the state. Convocations of the university have been marked by the presence of great personalities which include former presidents of the country who have guided, enthralled and enriched graduates with their rich and vivid experience. In the 32 years and as many batches of students, we are proud and privileged to have molded and shaped generations of youth from Western Vidharva through education and enlightenment. It is not only the academics, but the value of education also equally plays an important role as the students are concerned. And we are equally concerned about it. As it is being said, Vidya Vidayana Shobhate. So we try to follow it for our students. And if you ask for my dream, my dream is Mahabharat, that means the great India. I expect the students passing out from my university will definitely contribute for this great India and that's what my dream is from my students. For all purposes, we breathed Gargay Baba's doctrine to help the needy students to uplift the downtrodden and to guide the unemployed. The elixir of Gargay Baba's philosophy has been so strongly pricked into our hearts that the university as a family holds this mission and pays its tribute to the pious soil of Amravati. <laughs>